All right. Well, if you have problems with mold growing in your seedlings, this is corn right here. I use a little bit of peroxide. These aren't too bad right now because I've already done it. Um, there's a few different ratios. I've seen 25 to 1 and 10 to 1 to kill it if you're just going to spray it, but sometimes when you're starting uh, seedlings like corn like this in a bag, um, they'll just start growing mold and you'll see it in there. And so uh, I already have some water in there because I don't want direct contact of the peroxide on the seeds. So there's a little bit in there. I'm just going to add a few drops and wait till I hear it sizzling. Probably, I don't know, uh, half a teaspoon maybe I put in there. And I'm just going to mix it around so all the peroxide will touch everything. I'm going to lightly turn it over. I notice when growing corn, try to keep it all in one plane because the sprouts will start coming up and uh, you want them all to be kind of going in one direction so when you go to plant them it makes it easier to go ahead and set them in the ground and you can listen and you should hear sizzling and a little bit of foam and stuff and after if I think I put too much in there because if there's a lot of mold you have to kind of I kind of vary how much peroxide I put in there depending on how much molds in there um, but uh, it doesn't seem like it hurts plants at all. I've sprayed it on other things, uh, on my other seedlings. When I see mold, I just kind of put some in a spray bottle, um, mix about uh, 1 to 10 um, parts, and um, kind of spray everything lightly. Um, but after, if I put a heavy dose in it just to kill all the mold off, if I, if I ever do that, then after it's touched everything and sizzled a little bit, then I'll go ahead and I'll add water. Here, well, I was about to show you, but my sink's a little dirty, so I'm just adding some water to the bag. It sizzles more, then I drain it. All right. So now the peroxide and water has kind of sizzled all the mold away. Now, I'm going to pull all these seedlings out and put them on a, a new cloth. Alright, I'm going to get a plate. And pour these out. just going to pick these up and try to carefully set these down. Looks like I'm having a problem getting them all to sit right. Pick through the good ones. Oh crap. I forget a bunch on there. Well, I'm going to do this a little bit quicker. I thought they'd sit up a little bit easier. So I'm just going to transfer all the ones that grow. And I noticed uh, these are popcorn seeds. What I'm going to plant, what I plan on doing with these is uh, I've done it when I was a kid in the sandbox, but I planted a bunch of popcorn seeds and let them grow. And then when they had little baby corns on them, uh, we'd pull them early and uh, eat them in our salads. And I thought they tasted way better than the canned stuff. Fresh baby corn in your salads. You just eat the whole thing. Way better than the I don't like the canned stuff. I won't eat it. I felt like I, I broke a root. Let me grab a couple more of these. The sweet corn that I got in the seed packets. Uh, burpee or something like that. Uh, um, only half of them sprouted. Even this method. I even used the... 
peroxide to help with the fungus and um, I mean the mold and yeah uh, only half of them sprouted even in the ground I planted them um, with uh, planted the seeds right in the ground and since only half of them came up I sprouted some this way I had it on another video me saying that um, and uh, then put them in the ground because it grew a little bit quicker um, I do add a little bit of fertilizer to this water occasionally um, I don't really measure it out I just mix up some miracle grow um, and just pour a little bit in so they have a little bit of nutrients um, these probably would have been in the ground already if uh, I had a spot tilled and everything else but uh, alright let me get a bag Try to keep most of the seeds on the paper towel, and then you don't have to have them, any of them drowning in the water. You just keep kind of keep it moist. And then I do put these in a southern facing window, southern exposure, um, so they can get some light. And I never looked up if they prefer dark roots. I'm sure they do, but um, never really had a problem with them just sprouting in the sun. And uh, that's about it. Seal these up and uh, hopefully uh, in a day or two I'll get them in the ground. If not, if I have to add a, another drop of peroxide <clears throat> in a couple days. If I don't get them in the ground then I will. I'm actually going to put a couple drops in there now as a preventative method. And, uh, where is it? Right, it's lined up. And that's that. Cool.